Mama, I'm in TV. <laughs> and when you guys come home after the seasons, what what uh, what you miss? Welcome, Yara. Welcome, Samantha. You are in the Tuning Show. <laughs> After play so long together, I can imagine that uh, you feel very free in the stage. Mm. But where would be the place that you, when you play? the music born no it's it's random places yeah, totally. i mean sometimes nature is really inspiring but for me also often when i'm in nature i actually don't feel the drive to play much because i like mm -hmm. the, the surrounding sounds, sounds <laughs> already and interestingly most or the biggest impact on this album was uh, came from phnom penh capital of cambodia mm -hmm. really hectic and really mm -hmm. loud and we were invited by a friend that has um, a place there called The Boathouse. It's a recording studio as well and an um, arts therapy center. And she wasn't around and the, the place was empty. So she said, well, you can stay there and work on your music. And it was really fun, this little oasis in this really loud and hectic city. And we wrote two or three of the main pieces there for us, of the like strongest pieces of the album in that place with that kind of contrast of having this calm there but around it was mm. you'd step out the courtyard and be <laughs> 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 the smells yeah. are disgusting it's really gross <laughs> <laughs> it's really yeah. yeah I think then you could probably say especially for me I think the place where if I find myself playing it doesn't matter what instrument because for me it's just music it really doesn't mm. matter what it is it tends to be like born out of maybe chaos or sadness or stress and it's then this juxtaposition of creating peace, mm -hmm. in a way. It really doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think when I see you guys playing music, um, it's also a, a chance to come to the present. Mm. You know, you we leave so much thinking what we're gonna do in the next. What, uh, you know, I have this experience more in the surf. When I when I get a wave, you the wave is happening. You know what? You are there in the moment, in connection with 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 the wave. Yeah. You know, and and you can and then then the the mind goes to a place kind of, that it could tell that is a the peace or the peace. You know, um, and. When I see you, sometimes you arrive here and you just start to sing and everything, doing music and everything. I feel that you can do this very easy. Mm. You can come to the present and let your mind out of the problem.
guys come home after the season? What what uh, what you miss in the end, like uh, from this festival things? Uh, there is something that ah, you know, because I I can imagine that some things also makes you tired. Yeah. If for sure, right? it's, a, it's yeah. a, the travel. But there are some things I can imagine that some things that you miss, maybe food, so I miss, people. I miss the ease, the the lightheartedness, so to say. Uh -huh. Like over the summer or whenever the season is, but when we're around traveling with, with friends or meeting new friends, it's always light. I don't think too much about plans that I have. Mm -hmm. And when we come home, most of the time I'm like, uh, all these things I have to do, I want to do that are on lists in the office and at home and garden. Where I like that Partly also things that I like to do and mm -hmm. project ideas that I have. But still, there's like so many ideas that I'm like, Oh no! And it's buried in the whole yeah. list that you made. And on the road <laughs> while traveling over the summer, that's not exi like. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Everything's nice. Yeah, you and can go in the flow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But yes. I really miss the kitchen when we're traveling. I when miss traveling, my kitchen. Yeah, yeah when ah, we're traveling, okay. I really miss my kitchen, and I miss my sofa, especially <laughs> when traveling in Asia because they just don't have sofas. <laughs> 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 I don't want to chill on a sofa. I just want to lay on a couch. Yeah, but then sometimes because the festival seasons and sometimes we're touring a lot, you get home and you're just like, you know, I just want to switch off. Yes. I've had so much input from other people because, you know, when you're with a lot of people, then you engage your time with each other a lot. And it's amazing, but sometimes then it's just like, whoa, overload. It's like, go home, sit on the couch, Netflix. <laughs> oh no, five days later, we're so trying to start so many Hey, we're going to start doing things. <laughs> yeah, we need yes, to do yes. things. Mm -hmm. That's usually like when it's been a really long period of time and it's been really intense where there hasn't been much time for... Yeah, sometimes we don't get a lot of time for each other, yet alone for ourselves as individuals. So it's kind of... Yeah, it's always interesting to find the balance. Often, yeah. like, uh, we just had it today that... Um, a lady that works in the organic shop in our town we meet her occasionally and she always says like oh it's so nice when she hears what we're doing or she hears it of friends that she knows or what um and from the outside people only see oh you're going these places nice you're going yeah. there playing music but for example today we sat in the car for like nine hours straight maybe with a few breaks and that's exhausting that's yeah. I mean, we do it. I don't mind it, but it's not. It's not all just nice and easy when 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 traveling for music and mm. music. Yeah. Yeah, and you touch a, a subject that I think is would love to hear. He's behind the cameras about your kitchen. Why you love so much your kitchen? Talk about food for him for the <laughs> years of his. Yeah. <laughs> so, I well, yeah. For, for one. <laughs> I, I can get a sensitive stomach so if I don't have the control over what I can eat sometimes mm -hmm. it can be really frustrating and it's not always easy to find what you want but I also just love that process of cooking for me it's so meditative mm -hmm. of like you know choosing what <laughs> choosing what um, yeah what vegetables are gonna go together with what grains if you're gonna have a grain and um, what spices are gonna mix with it and just that whole process it's for me it's the same as with music I improvise a lot and I improvise always when cooking yes. he's the baker who likes to make everything yes, on, like. yes, yes. I, I, I think it's to do with the German <laughs> mind you know German I, German. I married a Swiss girl the German finger you know <laughs> she's excited like I said okay you made the same cake already three times you can start to improvise <laughs> I need to follow always the rules <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though I don't follow too strictly when I bake, I often... No, you do adapt a little. I do change also ingredients and stuff, what I've got there, and then sometimes it doesn't work out. Mm. Yes, but this is the part of the learning, is the, the yeah. fail. Yeah. <laughs> but also with the kitchen <coughs> thing, is we've just had, uh, just this weekend, we had um, our second ever hand pan at home uh, weekend workshop. So we've started teaching from our home and uh -huh. we can invite up to 10 people and they can sleep at our place and everybody still has space and for me it's um, well for us both really because we're inviting people to our home it's about sharing our passion for food as well and yes. it's always about really good organic food mm -hmm. and most of the time we well when we're at home we cook vegan um yeah and really just about enjoying exciting vegetarian vegan organic food and sharing that with people and that for me is what i love being home for 
blender, smoothie maker. That's yeah. the best thing mm-hmm. ever. Yes, he likes it. Uh, he doesn't also like smoothies. Sometimes he does here in the workshop. Although, and you uh, found the the coops and the things in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but ours is really loud since Yaron tried to blend a spoon. Oh! <laughs> uh, don't tell the company that we got a refund from. Didn't work. Didn't work. I was wondering where the spoon was and then I then <laughs> it turned on and it went like and I had a lot of ice cubes in there. I was making oh. like a chocolate smoothie yes, and a lot uh, of ice. And I thought, that can't be that loud. You're, you're supposed to be a really good blender with like two horsepower or something. Why, why don't you get those ice cubes smaller? And then after about half a minute I was no, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> and yeah, I had to, I had to send it in to be fixed. And, and tell me, you are living in Germany. Yeah. yeah. How long were you? Uh, you were, of course. Yeah, it's actually approaching already four years since we've kind of been based. Decide, yeah, we yeah, didn't decide to live there instantly. But now it's about yeah. three and a half years that we've had. Um, yeah, where we are now is like a home base, but it's becoming, since last year, it's become much more of a permanent home and we've really been growing it into the space that we want it to be. Mm. And how you feel her adaptation in Deutschland? It is always for me very curious because we are here in, in uh, Ecosound Sculpture, we are um, all mixed. You know? yeah. We have uh, all uh, Swiss uh, girlfriends or wives. Yeah. And it's interesting to talk about the, the, our uh, uh, adaptation here. So how I would ask you first, how is you think for her? Well, it's, I mean, first of all, the German and English culture are not too different in terms of like it's all northwestern Europe, so to say. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, of course, there's some differences, and especially in the beginning, some wouldn't or couldn't understand much. Couldn't talk to my family, for example. They don't. They barely speak English. Mm-hmm. Um, but she learned. German. She, she learned quite oh, yeah, fast. Within huh? like one and a half yes. to two years she was fluent and mm-hmm. now three years later some people don't even realize that she's not yes. German. Wow. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. We live close to the Dutch border so a lot of people that hear that she has a slight ah, accent, yes, this they, is think, interesting. they think that she's Dutch. Uh-huh. I don't Dutch accent though. No, yeah, but there is a, just a slight accent in yeah, your, yeah, in so your so language. So yeah, for for me I don't understand the Dutch but I understand German and English like a sounds a really a mix. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the, the Deutsche. Yeah. Yeah. And you? How is for you to live in Deutschland, in Germany? Yeah, the beginning was. Well, first of all, it was the contrast of the house sizes for me was like luxury because I grew up in a little semi detached house where, yeah, just everything's considerably smaller. The average smaller. house in England yeah, is yeah, much exactly. smaller yes. than in Germany. And then, and then I come to. So we've moved into the. the family home of Yaron where he grew up nobody else is living there now but we've yeah we've made ourselves a home within that house and for me it was just like oh my god this is massive this is huge and it's not a huge house it's an average normal German house yeah. in from that area um, and yeah so for me it was that was already like quite exciting of being able to sort of spread out within a home that I wasn't really quite used to um, and it felt quite adventurous, but at the same time, really, really, really challenging with the language because I'm a very expressive person mm-hmm. and I wasn't able to express myself with the words that I wanted to and with the humor that I want to express myself with. Hey nice guys. job, guys. Thank you very much. And I have an idea why we don't go to the nature and swim in Let's our river. Swim yes. Thank you. Good, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. come back next time for more if you like the show please subscribe remember to click the bell and stay tuned Hello, hey guys we are here again in the tuning show now with Andrin hug So let's talk about handpans. Let's Maybe talk about some handpans. subject to talk about in this program.